Egypt is the crossroads between Africa and the Middle East. Then the presence of this river, the Nile, makes it the only country of the Sahara Desert with a steady natural water supply. So from the time humans could walk upright hundreds of thousands of years ago, they've been drawn here to this river. Initially, nomadic tribes emigrating from sub-Saharan Africa to the Middle East follow the path of the Nile. Later on, during the dawn of agriculture, around 9,000 BC, tribes of farmers begin to settle on its banks. When Menes finally united all of these people under one flag, so to speak, around 3,000 BC, the empire of Egypt was born. Since then, countless human dramas have permeated Egypt, but the Nile has remained the one constant presence in the center of it all. And despite the occasional catastrophic flood, it's the reason why the world's first empire rose here and not someplace else. At the dawn of the third millennium BC, as Egypt's separate city-states began to consolidate through conquest, the river that had long been integral to basic survival assumed a new role as the engine driving an unprecedented economic and territorial expansion. A network of man-made harbors and canals were constructed to link far-flung territories and irrigate an otherwise barren landscape. Massive barges became the 18-wheelers of the age, and the canals formed the equivalent of an interstate highway system. The Egyptians didn't really need to worry about roads or wheels because they had the Nile, because the river would flow south to north, and then you could use the wind from north to south. Then the Egyptians would dig canals to get you in your east-west directions, and again, if you wanted to go anywhere else. So there were great canal diggers, and the engineers would construct canals that were kilometers and kilometers long. And this was used to transport all kinds of things, whether it was large numbers of people, whether it was grain, food, stones. 